hello, hello, good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Tuesday, July 17th, 2018. Okay, first of all, I, I want to say I trust that you are continuing your daily actionable items to take you from where you are to where you say and where you know you want to be. It will not happen, cannot happen, um, unless we individually do the work, unless we change some of um, our habits, unless we unlearn some things. Hey, Kendra, unless we unlearn some things and replace them with new habits and new thought patterns, new circle of friends, new um, places we go. And so every day we need to work on um, who we are, who we're becoming. We got to work on that. And so maybe in part, good morning, Linda and Janet. Thank you for all who are joining me on both platforms, Periscope and Facebook Live. So I, I entitled this perspective this morning, Character First. Um, like I said yesterday, no shortcuts. We have, to, it's an insight. Good morning, mother. It is an inside job. Success is an inside job. And so it does not matter the number of titles you have, you can have more titles, you can have more degrees than the thermometer, you can have all the positions, you've been given all the awards. Hey, Terrell, good evening over there. All of the, um, the accolades, all the positions, all the parking spots to go along with it. None of that matters if your character is shallow, if your character is low. If your character has not been fully developed, it is always going to be your character that sustains you. And so often, too often, we, and when I say we, I don't use that pronoun, I don't speak French, and I don't use that pronoun just like, you know, throwing it out. I say we because all of us, no one is immune to this. No one is immune to this. So what I know for sure is that we too often try to run and do the work or make the sale or get the connection or get the job, get the position. We try to do the stuff first, the exterior, the, um, the thing that is going to be most readily known. Hey, Mel, we try to get that first instead of doing the interior work because your talents and your gifts, your anointings, all of your strengths will take you to a place. There's no doubt. It will take you to a certain level. But if our character has not been developed to meet the level of, of um, accomplishment, your character will take you down every time. Your gifts can get you there. Your degrees may get you in the, do in the door. Your connections may, may give you extra opportunities. But if your character has not been developed, if your character is still shallow, if your if your um, if your personhood is still low, you will not be able to sustain the success, the significance that you so that we so desperately want. And so it is not it's not an easy thing. But we got off quick. We got off easy. So that's. You know, that's probably not the most um, important thing on your list. What are you developing? So often we say things like, well, you know, I've been like this since I was a little girl. My mama was like this. My auntie like this. My granny was like this. As if that's a period in the end of your sentence. Your story ends there. And it doesn't. We individually have the choice. We have individually the responsibility we all have the responsibility to grow and develop and shape our character. Even if you come from a long line of fill in the blank, of people doing their thing and, and uh, you know, being a certain way, acting a certain way, responding a certain way, being quick with the lips, Okay, 
without the thought behind it. It doesn't matter. It, it does not matter where you've come from. Where are you going? And your character is the vehicle that will take you there. If you are excellent at what you do, I mean, you are the best mechanic in the land, but people don't trust you, your mechanical skills will get you there. Your character will not allow you to remain. Your character will not be enough to sustain and build and grow a phenomenal business, a phenomenal marriage, because we can't trust you. So, so like I said, the skill set, the, the, the titles, the position may, may put you in a position of prominence, but your character that if it has not been, well, good morning, Jean, if your character has not been fully developed, if your character is not being developed, it is going to be your albatross every time. It is going to be the handcuffs that keep bringing you down. You keep wondering, why can't I get any further? I always get to a certain point and then that's it. There's no more. Have you done the inside work to develop who you are, to develop your strengths, to develop your natural inclinations, to unlearn some of their natural inclinations? So, you know, again, the, the first person who just say, who just thought, you do not know how hard it is. You're talking to the wrong one. You are talking to the wrong one. I understand how we can grow up seeing things and hearing things. And so it becomes part of who we are down to our down to our DNA cellular level. It's who we are. It's what we operated in. It, it's what became the norm. It is what we um, understood to be correct by the people that we loved. And then at a certain point, you recognize that is not working for you. You recognize there is more to this thing called life than what you grew up in, than what you grew up believing, than what you um, grew up doing and practicing. There's more. And so the power, the strength that it takes to break out of 30, 40 years worth of thinking, the power, the strength, the desire that it takes to break out of and unlearn some of the things that uh, we grew up with is tremendous. I get that. I get it firsthand. I didn't have to read about any of that in these books. I understand that it takes tremendous strength and determination and perseverance and stick to because you, although you grew up in it, although it is part of who you are, although people will remind you very often, well, you've always been like that girl, you're trying to get, you are doing too much. That you've always done like, you've always done that. You've always been this person, mm, she ain't changing, that's who she is. Even though all of that will be on you and put all that stuff on you, it is still our responsibility to break out. When we know to do better, even if we don't know what better looks like, we know that there's something more. We know that this no longer fits. It's no longer working for us. It's a responsibility. We got to, hey, Pat, we have to develop our character. We have to strengthen. We have to shape. We have to remold our own character. And um, only we can do that individually. So that's what I'm saying. I, I just, I, I need you to make sure that your character can take you where your desires want to be. The desire that it takes to, well, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Mel, for the recap. Okay, it's not too hard. People do it every day. People grow up in a certain environment, and then as they get older, as they are exposed to more, as they see that, wow, there is another way to do this thing. There are other options for me. The more exposure you get, the mandate to continue growing and stretching and challenging ourselves goes. The mandate. Now, I am not speaking to you if you are fine, if you are happy, if you are content, if you are satisfied with where you are and who you are, then, you know, I'm not speaking to you. I am talking to the one who in their gut knows 
every night they look in the mirror and they know they can do better. They know they can be better. They know they can have more. That's what I'm talking about. So the outside exterior, getting all the certifications, getting the degrees, getting the titles, building your connections and all of that has its place. But if our character is still too shallow for where we're going, we will not last, period. We'll be found out, okay? And so my challenge, the same challenge that I give myself every day is to ensure that I continue growing, ensure that I continue surrounding myself with those who can stretch me and challenge me. I need to be surrounded by those who will hold me accountable and, and push, push, because there's more in me. There's more in you. There is more in you. And don't, ooh, you do not know even how old I am. I am not trying. Okay, there's more. If you got life in your breath, if there is breath in your body and you are living, there's more. Okay? Check your cap, check and, and reshape, redefine your character. It's an inside job first. That is my offering to you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing. My love and appreciation is tremendous for each of you. Thank you so much. Periscope, I wish I could read all them tiny. They need to make this stuff for older eyes, bigger, where I can see this, the uh, comments that are fleeting up the screen so quickly. Okay, thank you again. Does my outside equal my inside? If it doesn't, it's going to be a fall. It is going to be a fall. Our character has got to be able to keep where we're going. Until next time, take real good care of yourselves.